Welcome to part two of the Griot's Garage Special. Today we check out more insane cars, thanks to the folks at Griot's Garage in Tacoma. Now, this car came to us complete, and it was this beautiful tiger green, bright green 70s car. It had this like weird velour interior, but it was mechanically sound. Richard, my dad, was just like, ah, it's not good enough. Like, we need to tear it apart. Like, most people would say, well, what the heck is wrong with you? That's kind of like we're, our guiding philosophy is like, take the best that exists and make it better. And I don't know what the best one is on the planet, but this is probably going to be close to it, if not it. Yeah. And just all the stereotypical little rust spots have been addressed. What is it? It's a E9 30 CSI. So it's an early 70s, 1974. 1972 BMW, straight six, like all glass, great gearbox, nice big wide wheels. So you can see out of it really well. It's a really taut chassis, very, very nice driving BMW. And again, this is like, you're seeing it at its most incomplete state. But that being said, there's probably been 200 hours in the body already. Maybe that's an yeah. uh, but. No, probably about 150 in the body. I know I spent two and a half months ripping the interior out of this car. Yeah. Meticulously. Yeah. So yeah, because yeah, it's Document going back in. Most everything. of the most of the stuff can be put back in, but it's just all touched. It's polished. It's clean. You know, with with old vinyl, it responds well. You can dye it. You know, the glass is polished. The trim is redone in places where it needs to be. And then we're getting rid of that brown velour. It's going to be a black leather. So it'll be bright green with black interior. It'll be a pretty nice looking Beamer. This is total Frankenstein. I mean, yeah. it, it came out of somebody's head and now it's a car that runs and drives. And it's another one where it came out of Japan. We didn't get E30 Tourings, the, the four-door station wagons. When we got it, it's like, okay, it's good, it's complete. Nothing really works well. It's all fumbly, no power. What would it look like if it only had two doors and had M3 bodywork on it and a V8? <laughs> so weird. And, and like a year later, it was done. And we you know, showed this at SEMA. Yeah, because when I saw this, I was like, I've seen these cars before, but I didn't know they were wide. And I also thought they had four doors. So that makes a lot of sense now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're metal quarter panels, and the B pillar's been moved to accept coupe doors. Okay. Wow. So, that's, a, that's not a small amount of work. No. Fully redone interior. And it, it, so that engine is a 540 engine out of an E34, and then the matching six speed for it. You know, the, I think the M, uh, the M20 that came out of it is like 120 horsepower. Yeah. And this M60 is 300, and that's less the full, pretty much opened up custom exhaust system. So doubling the power. We also dropped off the front wheel drive component, so it's just rear wheel drive, Sick. which some people frown upon because they only made like 500 all wheel drive ones. Yeah, but we could say, you know, like everybody's going to be mad at doing what you want to do to your car. Yeah. So, whatever. This thing is definitely going to be. This was our SEMA <laughs> car, and so we filled it with all of our products when we launched the Boss system. Um, so we call it the Detail Wagon, as in the thought that you could pull up anywhere in this vehicle and detail any car. It's never actually been tested or anything, because <laughs> it is a SEMA car, but it does fully run and drive, which I guess, they don't have a Wi-Fi drive shaft. Bring it to my house and detail my two yeah. <laughs> No, this is like, yeah, at the end of the day, like this was this was part of like, how we justified building this car as we brought it to SEMA as a marketing experiment. It's not a typical SEMA build in that it is like, it works. again, we wanted to drive this car. And like we took it down to Monterey and we were ripping around the canyons in it. That's and awesome. Like the V8 is shorter than the inline six, so you actually get a little bit better handling. It's weird. You'd think that you'd be adding, yeah, like adding all that weight. Get a little more piggy, right? Like just a little more understeer. But it's not. And you can obviously balance that by pressing the gas pedal and yeah. shifting the weight right back. So we don't have to blast their license plate out, but there's current tabs on this. Registration is oh, being yeah. paid. Yeah. This thing can move. Yeah. <laughs> I think this is going to go down to Beaver Fest uh, in California in May. Okay. So it's still doing its job in terms of promotion. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've got all sorts of crazy ideas. It's just a matter of time. The Holy Grail car, the 190E Evo 2 from Japan. I looked the other day, 5,800 kilometers on it. It's, this one is number 401 of 500. Um, and like I said, it came out of Japan. Most of the cars that we have to import do come out of Japan. Surprising amount of rare German cars there. Um, wonderful 90s and 80s. This is the one where interior. like, if you, if you like early 90s racing, this yeah. car speaks to you. This is a very important car. Yeah, yes. it, and it's just like the most ridiculous Mercedes you've ever 
scene. Yeah. This That's is like awesome. if you grew up with Gran Turismo 2 and 3, like, this was like, <laughs> yes. what? Yes. Like, make this in, like, I thought Mercedes is just like the old man kind of like, wait a minute, they're doing some crazy shit in here. You know, the biggest thing, like this wing, everybody was underneath. so upset about the there's size of this wing. There's adjustments there, and there's adjustments underneath here as well. And so the M3 dominated DTM the first couple years, and then by the time Mercedes introduced this car, they, they had this, you know, really aggressive body kit on it. And they were like, the German or the BMW guys were dismissive. They were like, yeah, if that wing actually creates downforce, like, you know, write me a letter. <laughs> and they won that year with this wing. And That's awesome. So Slap in the face. Yeah. The key lock for the trunk is inside the, the star. If it's outside the star, it's not a real Evo. Huh. One of two Nissans or Japanese cars in general that Richard owns is this 240Z. So this car has about 30,000 miles on it, original. It was this color from the factory. An old lady had it and she painted it brown. So <laughs> Richard got a hold of it, had it's it brown on white. Yes, brown on white. So it had white interior, unfortunately. Oh, that's horrible. Yeah, so Richard got a hold of it, had it repainted in orange, um, and we converted the interior to black. Nice. So this is an ongoing project currently. And so far, we've only done body and interior. This car has not gotten engine treatment yet. So this is still factory in all of it. Um, still the factory braided hoses that are brittle. Um, the factory is this the paint choke? Yes, yeah. that's engine bay color is the factory paint, and this is the repaint. Yeah. This is something that only certain cars got, from what I understand. It's a seasoned choke for what? your carbs. That's so interesting. interesting. I don't know how much it really does. Let's be honest. <laughs> Here's an, actually an old sample yeah. of the interior that was in it. Yeah, I'm glad that's not in there anymore. Yeah. Right? yeah. But I always like take myself through like, okay, I'm a, I'm a race car driver. Like I have to win races to make money. And I strap myself into this like fiberglass death machine and I go on roads I don't know and I've got to win a rally. And like, look at how short this wheelbase is. It's right? tiny. And then and sit in it and tell me if you can see anything out of it. I've, I've heard, I mean, I think Anybody who knows anything about these cars knows that the visibility in these are kind of atrocious. Well, yeah, because you're only going forward. So oh, you're good, dude. I don't know. Just kick me out of here. <laughs> I think I wore my clean shoes today. But like your oh, like your pedal position, and it's just weird. Well, so I just think like your knees kind of notch this way, right? You're like oh, trying yeah. to. Oh yeah. Oh so yeah. It's like over there. Yeah. That's so cool. It's gonna be broken down more than that. Damn, dude. Who's the first one I've seen this car without the cover on? If you're not careful, it'll chop the top of your head. Wow. This thing's pretty pure too. I mean, the new one is hardcore, but this is like plenty. I mean, people hurt themselves in this car too because it's just. And, um, yeah. Like, yeah. You Look at that big old super Yeah. Don't these things make like 600 horsepower or something? They were rated at 550 like crank and everybody swears that they're 600 wheels yeah. like just out all, all the muscle car guys that like say oh yeah it's a 300 horsepower like just to game the insurance companies back when that was cool uh, and they'd be like 500 horsepower so like, what's up with this car is this so this is a, it's a, a 2006 heritage edition and uh, my dad actually, we have our, our production facility, we're manufacturing all the chemicals in Indianapolis, and a dealer there had it, and he had been wanting it forever, and he bought this new, um, the, I mean, these things are pretty valuable now, yeah. but uh, this was like a pretty ridiculous car when it arrived, because this was probably the first supercar my dad owned, and um, like, I mean, it's just pristine. It's, it's probably got a couple thousand miles on it. Not, not anything to write home about, but it's not inconspicuous. No, <laughs> not very. And it's not like where we live, it's just not, it's not smart to drive high horsepower rear wheel drive cars all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Especially if you're as dumb as like I am. <laughs> Did I sit in this? Yeah, yeah. Get to yeah sit they, in this. they only made the Heritage Edition for one year. And I think they only made like 200 of them. They made a lot. I mean, they made a lot fewer of these than they did the other It's a tiny ones. wheel. I sent it to his friend. And they were driving to like exotics at Redmond Town Center. And his friend told it. No! Yeah, just getting on and Welcome on to my crib. It's so easy to do it. <laughs> we go onward. We go onward through these big red doors. 
Whoa. So out of all the cars in the collection I've driven, this is my second favorite. This is sick. So this car is really cool. Is it a Fiero? Is it a Fiero? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a Porsche. Come on now. Um, fully shaved everything, but it has a built 911 swap in it. Whoa. Oh, shit. Oh, so simple. So this car is one of the quicker that I've driven, and I've, I've driven GTR, twin turbo Porsche, a few other cars that are pretty up there, and this is one of my favorite I've ever driven. I think the factory sticker says 20, not 26 9, but it's not that heavy. It's not, there's no. nowhere near that weight anymore. Yeah, I'd say it's probably 2,400 pounds. Wow. This was a four cylinder that made 92 horsepower. <laughs> And now it's like a fully spec 3.2 that I think cranks at about 250. Okay. It's plenty. Yeah, yeah. 100, 100 horsepower in this is probably plenty. Yeah, it, <laughs> it moves. Like, and it, it's got, I mean, 11 inch wide wheels. It's got plenty of rubber. We had, uh, we had some guys come in here to like, do a highlight on this car, and they were driving it in anger, and it just sounds ridiculously good. <laughs> I, and it just, it, it is like a Fiera. <laughs> I mean, this is Porsche's Fiera, like an early Cayman. That's kind of what yeah. we came up with. Okay. Right? It's like, shouldn't handle better than an I-11 because that would be blasphemy, but it kind does. of does. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants to talk about it. <laughs> March 2nd is when it comes out, when the episode comes out with this one. Okay, cool. Um, it's like Your everyday, uh, driver. everyday driver. Oh, cool. Motor trim, yeah. Well, yeah, this yeah. was another one, the guy who built that green car. But this yeah. car. Okay. Yeah, okay. so it's everything's pulled. It's been chopped top. Yeah. So oh, yeah. the roof's actually lower than a normal 914. <laughs> There's all Which, sorts of stuff. To begin in with, a 914's already low roof. And like, what do you notice about the front too? I've noticed there's no headlights. There's yeah. no, there are headlights technically. Yeah. As far as the law's concerned. It looks oh, good. I see, I see. Uh, with the hips and everything. <laughs> yeah. yeah it's... There's only one mirror. What's that? The gas was, Yeah, was, it, was that where the, where the, the gas filler was? was? Oh, I have no idea actually. I don't know either. <laughs> This is proof my Civic is a race car because it also only has that one mirror. Yeah. So, so these are all Italian yeah, tools that we sell through Griot's. We're the them, only like store front the in the U.S. that sells them. Hmm. Um, they're Usog tools from Italy. They are part. They are partnered with Ducati Race Team. I think they've gone in and out of Formula One sponsorships as those are pretty expensive. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, like back in the day, all the you know '70s, '80s Ferrari Formula One. Yeah, it's Usag. So cool. Rare Italian shit. Well, those, those are, those are you can buy those today. Like, those are. They sell you know, them. Yeah. You no, know, I know. Yeah. See, that's why it's rare, though, because you said oh. you're the only retailer. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 So, rare They're, Italian shit. You can hang on the wall. Their claim to fame was they were the McLaren F1. All right. Now, what do we have here? I have put together an assortment of goodies for you guys. I know that a lot of your cars are. A little track use and such. So uh, first thing, this one, this is something we made. This is track spray. This is made specifically to get uh, burnt rubber off of your fenders and oh. stuff like that. It melts it off. It, we use this on uh, Nick's race car after it came back, and it just like all that stuff that you spend forever scrubbing. That's so, so sick. That's sick. I mean, this is wash and wax. It's just a uh, wash that you can do in your garage if you want. Oh my gosh, I don't want to go through all this, but uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here's the stuff you're really gonna use. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's the, let, me, let me tell you some of the badass stuff. This is the shit. So all your uh, brake dust that accumulates on your wheels and stuff, this just dissolves it, it turns it purple. I need uh, like three gallons of that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> also, I'm gonna use some more. I got heavy duty wheel cleaner. It's just a slightly Sand. More oh, diluted oh, version. Okay. So you, I gave you a whole gallon of that and the heavy duty wheel cleaner to see how that. If they're really bad, then use this. But, they're bad. Um, <laughs> I, I have wheels that are brown and I bought them white. So. Oh jeez. Oh yeah. No. Then uh, and then also for your tires, the foaming tire cleaner. This is like the most legit stuff, and it's not gonna. It, there's no dressing in it. I have used that before. Like, have you? Yeah, I've, I've used that. That. Because this one just came out. I have not used that before. <laughs> <laughs> this is just so you can use everywhere. Degreaser, general, whatever. Uh, lots of wheel cleaning tools. Right. Lug nuts, little brushes, uh, tire cleaning tool. Nice. So, uh, and then a shit ton of towels. Oh, I so, love towels. Michael ooh, Fiber. Michael Fiber. <laughs> Michael. <laughs> ooh. Michael Fiber. Uh, just like your general shop towels, is a whole stack of them. These are really good for just wiping stuff off. Pretty much a general purpose as well. Glass towels, you want to be able to see. 
so you don't run into walls and stuff. True, I need uh, one of those bad. Of those <laughs> well, I mean, you have one less window now, at least. Yeah, something. true. So, uh, interior cloths, and we've used this. And then these, I got you two because you probably wouldn't want to share them because uh, these are extremely absorbent towels. I actually just use mine as a bath towel as well. Really? Like, I've got one just hanging on <laughs> my shower awesome. right now. I was just about to say, I'm gonna just like wipe this with the they, shower. They're big enough, and they'll, they hold like five pounds of water, and like our what? biggest complaint <laughs> is people will say like, this thing is like, it just gets really heavy. And it's like, it's too heavy to use. I'm like, yes, yeah, because it's Ring it huge. out. Yeah, it does its job too well. Yeah, ring it out. It does its job too well, literally. Um, and then our classic that we've always had speed shine if you just want to wipe stuff down. I use this on the interior. Same with glass cleaner as well as interior detailer. You can use this stuff just around the house too. You don't have to necessarily use it on your cars. You yeah. can use it on a lot of different things. On your things. body. I use this on like- On your body. <laughs> I use this on my computer screen actually. Oh, sweet. So, oh, and then this one, you should definitely do this during the season is just seal seal up your glass. It's uh, uh, effectively high strength uh, Rainx. Okay. Yeah, mm. like really, really super, and it lasts a very long time. So do not let it hit the paint. <laughs> yeah, okay. don't let that awesome. wax. If you ever get to the point Ooh. where you wanna, I got you the long lasting stuff too. Dang, dude. Thank you so works. much. Of course. My Civic's gonna be beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be so pretty. You're gonna get all into detailing now. You're gonna get that obsessiveness. I'm not even that. gonna lie to you. Literally, like, around Christmas, I was gonna, like, have my girlfriend buy me, like, so much detailing shit. Because, like, I just was hanging around, like, some people that had really nice. Mason. Yeah, like, Mason and stuff like that. Just people who had, like, really nice cars. And I was like, Damn, like I wish my car was shiny and pretty and good looking all the time. And then now, now that, it can be, dude. Now, yeah, now that I'm not delivering pizza every day, I, like I'm like, oh, I could make my car clean and keep it clean. So not smell like Italian sausage. The, yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's yeah. well, I mean, that pros cons. It's like, <laughs> yeah. So one thing uh, that not a lot of people know about is that we make all of our own chemicals in our uh, facility in Indiana. So yeah. just outside of Indianapolis, uh, we have a huge facility. We have our own chemist. So everything from speed shine to glass cleaner to microfiber foaming pad cleaner, which actually also works good in the laundry as well. All of this stuff is formulated by us and it's you know, made by us. It's not um, packaged, it's not just like sent to us in big containers from China. Yeah. Um, and they're all to our specs, so. Cool. It's super high quality. Oh, damn. Mmm, it smells like grape. grape. It is grape. I wanna yeah. drink that, dude. I'm thirsty <laughs> as fuck. I do, oh, <laughs> it makes me thirsty. Hmm. We can let you know when we got some openings. Uh, all right, killer day here yeah. at Griot's Super Garage. Crazy. We did not expect any of that. Absolutely not. Really? Quinn, Quinn's like, hey, some guys who d like do detailing and stuff want us to come by and like show us some cars and stuff. And I was like, all right, cool, sounds cool. Like, I'm sure they're cool. Checked out the YouTube channel, I was like, all right, cool. And then we show up here and have our minds fucking blown out of the <laughs> yeah. water. Got like so much sick swag from from everybody, and then yeah, check this out, like dude, the, the forerunners loaded. loaded. This is about to be the prettiest forerunner in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Met the coolest people, talked some some cool car shit, man. Yeah, this guy does this shit just for show. oh for yeah. show, just a little bit, just yeah for real, like tour guide over here. Yeah, uh, so Grios got we we might be arranging some stuff in the future, some yeah, some hush hush talks. For a meet, so. Yeah, interesting how big this parking lot is. Hmm. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yep, nice to meet you. Nice Thank to meet you, you so much. As well. Nice to meet you again. <laughs> yeah. Doctor. Hey, if you want, you can shout out like your Instagrams or something if you want. Boxer four wheel drive BXR four WD. There we go. Mine is Carter MCH with a K. Yeah, his E thirty six is over there that we saw when we came in. Again, thanks, thanks so much to Grio's Garage uh, for the hospitality, for everything, for the product we were provided with. Yeah, we'll be uh, back for sure. And yeah, it's like th this was amazing. Had a great day. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you for real for checking out this two-part video. Uh, it was amazing to make. And thank you so much to Griot's for having us out. Goodbye.